Assalamualaikum. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Teacher Zaida from Best English Zonia. Okay. Um, this is uh, my lesson for uh, Teacher Zaida's online class. Uh, okay. So the topic that I want to highlight here is double verbs. Okay. And I think this one uh, most of the time. Uh, the users, yeah, English users are very confused um, on how to use double verbs in a sentence. Uh, okay, so actually there are there are two or three ways, you know, uh, where you can use double verbs. Uh, the f uh, is either by using um, infinitive or the gerund. Okay, so now let's take a look at uh, infinitive. Infinitive means uh, to plus the main verb. Okay, to plus verb. Uh, okay, example like whenever you use to do, to go, to run, okay, to walk. Uh, these are called infinitive. Okay, so for this one, um, for, for if you want to to use uh, the infinitive, you have to use together with these verbs. Uh, for example, the the one that I've listed here, uh, want, would like, need, decide, can't afford, it's time. But there are there are some more, okay, etc. Uh, for example, if we use the, the word want, okay, I want to do, I want to go. Uh, for this one, you cannot use uh, with in uh, with Jaren. You cannot say I want doing or I want going. Okay, it is wrong. The same thing goes to uh, the other verbs. And uh, for information, for this pattern, infinitive, okay, um, actually this is actually, um, um, this pattern is uh, mostly uh, used in English, where we could say the percentage is about 95%. Um, okay, uh, okay, so now we move on to um number two jaron okay jaron is the the verb where we add ing for example doing going what else climbing swimming jogging okay uh it is jaron actually is not uh, a verb but it, it is a noun Okay, it functions as a noun whenever you use it in a sentence. Okay, so whenever you whenever you come across these verbs or you want to use this verb in a sentence, you, you have to be remembered that you have to uh, use it with the gerund. For example, if you use the verb stop, okay, you cannot say stop. Uh, I want to stop. Uh, I I'm sorry. They stop. They stop. Um, what they stop to do is wrong. But instead, you have to use stop doing. Okay, or avoid meeting. Let's say uh, the man avoid meeting me. Okay, avoid meeting, not avoid to meet. Um, so these are the list of the verbs: stop, avoid. Admit, consider, deny, enjoy, suggest, how about, wouldn't mind, etc. And for this pattern, okay, the gerund, um, actually it is only 5%. Means um, it is not like uh, 2 just now where it is 95%, right? Means that uh, most of the sentence the verb in english you have to use together with two but for this one only you know um five percent of the verbs uh, you have to use together with gerund okay but uh even though it's five percent you have to uh, memorize this or if you don't want to memorize you have to read or listen a lot to english so in that way you are you are familiar with the usage okay uh, for example um, there are some you know some users might might use this wrongly they might 
they might uh, use let's say for example I consider to quit my job which is wrong okay I consider quitting my job okay so that is the correct uh, way okay and uh, the third pattern if you look here um, you can use both Okay, you can use um, for the, the, the list of verbs here, you can either use gerund or the infinitive to. Okay, for example, I like to cook or I like cooking. Both are correct. Same thing goes to love, prefer, start, begin, continue and bother. Okay, this one you can use both. Uh, for example, so let's say uh, they begin, they begin to watch the movie, or they begin watching the movie. Okay, both can be can be used. Okay, so um, uh, the next thing that I would like to focus here is, okay, this is actually um, very important uh, for the word remember. You know, when you use the word remember. Uh, actually, you can use both as well, but the meaning is different. If you use remember plus two, uh, it means um, don't forget or not forget to do something. It means that as if you are reminding someone um, to, okay, you're reminding someone um, for not forgetting to do something. Okay, for example... Please remember to bring my book tomorrow. Remember to bring means you're reminding him to bring your book. Okay? And uh, for this one, okay, you see, you also can use remember plus gerund. Um, but the meaning is, is, is the memory of doing something. Okay? For example... I remember visiting during orchard in heavy rain means you know remember visiting means that you you are remember uh, you are remembering uh, you know something and and uh, you know a memorable event okay so uh, that's the difference and last but not least I would like to uh, stress here uh, for the word help okay for the word help you can use uh, either do or to do okay you can use either do or to do for example I help my mom do the house chores I help my mom do the house chores okay or you can use I help my mom to do the house chores both are correct so remember only for the verb help okay only for the verb help you can use both okay so um uh, i think the these are the things that i want to highlight uh today and uh, please be remembered uh this is a very important uh topic right uh, in english okay so till i see you again uh bye bye okay assalamu alaikum